Hey everybody, Richie Yip here of Infighting Trading Centers. Today we are going to be talking about a spiral sweep into a leg drag. Now, I don't do spiral sweeps because I'm almost 40, right? However, Matt Kwan here, one of our instructors in our Burnaby facility, Burnaby BJJ, right? He is going to do this, all right? And he's awesome at it. All right, Matt, take it away. So this is a technique that I, um, I picked up watching uh, one of Stefan's videos that he shot with Ostap. It's from Reverse De La Hiva and uh, it's a really uh, effective sweep and a great guard to play. So we'll start in the reverse Dalai Hiva guard. So structurally speaking, when I'm in this guard, I always like to have the reverse Della spider grip because I just have that much more control. It really helps me to rotate underneath. So I should mention a few things. Um, first of all, when I get energy from uh, Richie here and he's turning his knee into me like this and tr trying to pass, it creates his, a 90 degree bend in his leg, which makes it easier for me to make my grip with my leg, which is also, if you notice, 90 degree angles. So could I just step away for a sec? My leg looks like this, okay? And I'm wrapping my toes around my partner's hip. Sometimes I can put this on top, or sorry, could I borrow your shoes? Sure. Sometimes when I wrap my toes around, I can put and connect my heel to my toes just for distance. So a lot of this will be managing the distance against my opponent. He's going to be getting uh, control of my leg and trying to punch it down to get the pass. I need to prevent this and always re-establish my guard with this off of this grip. I also want to have my right arm cradling my right leg so that the knee slide pass isn't as effective. Okay, I have support here. So when I'm going for my rotation underneath here, I really like to extend my leg transferring the, the weight onto his other foot, making this leg really light, okay? So I, I, also, I also don't want to be extending my leg as far as possible because this really leaves me open to a lot of passes and I lose a lot of my uh, flexibility in the position, okay? So I'm, I like to pull him in like this and I'm gonna start to rotate underneath. I do like a, a, a sideways crunch almost to start the rotation. And now when I get here, I'm extending my leg. So this leg comes off the ground right now, and it's onto this foot. So as I extend here, now I can really extend my leg a little bit more, and I can abandon this grip now in exchange for control over his ankle. So I have two ankles as I spin through. My knee goes out to the side here. So I don't wanna have my knee up like this. I definitely don't wanna spin with my leg outside because I can get leg locked here. When I have my leg in the side, I do not want to let go of either ankle. If I let go of an ankle, my partner can run away. Like if I try to grab the belt, this happens very commonly. So I take this outside leg now, and I'm going to switch into a reverse X guard position. Notice how Richie's ankle is in my armpit from this side, and I still have the other leg. So now I need to break his balance to knock him backwards, okay? So I'm going to pull his leg towards me, and extend backwards till he falls. Okay, now I'll be giving up this ankle in exchange for a grip on the hip. Bringing in close and covering his leg with my arm. I still have his bottom foot. As I come up onto my head, I'm going to now let go of his ankle, base out on my toes and hand, very important, into this leg drag position. Now this can be a battle a lot of the time. So I want to make sure I can solidify the leg drag and not get thrown off. I need to keep driving my knee inside towards Richie's belly button. I need to stay very tight on his leg. And I need to stay on my hand and toes. Because if I'm on my knee, I'm not giving Richie the proper pressure inward. Mm -hmm. I can feel that in that, yeah. So, and also with my leg here, I need to flare it. So my heel is going to be pointing towards the ceiling. Yeah, it's tough for me to put my foot down and shrimp away. Right, so I'm just basically driving weight into Richie. Richie, can you try and push me off of you, realistically? Yeah, that's pretty much impossible for me to get my leg back on the floor. Yeah. So this is where a lot of the fight will happen. And as long as I keep this grip here, you can grab the belt or just the pocket works great, I can start to solidify my position into the leg drag. I drop my knee, and then I'm going to look to put my head either under Richie's head or right straight to the ground with the underhook to finish the leg drag. Also, I want to be very careful when I'm 
fighting in this position here. If I'm not very strong with my foot, what happens is he can reach through and grab my leg and look for a leg lock, okay? Oh, wow, that's cool. This is all assuming that my hook wasn't strong enough. So consciously, I'm always wrapping my toes around the outside of Richie's knee here. So I finish like this with my foot flared up. Richie, yeah. can you put your left foot on the ground and move? That's pretty tough, man. This is what I'm trying to achieve. If he can get base, then he can move his hips. So I'm here, and then I'm going to look to smash and smother the position. Can we do that one more time? Okay, guys, so now I'm hitting my reverse De La Hiva here, and I like to get the sleeve grip. You can take the overhand grip, the pistol grip, or you can just take the claw grip, whatever's more comfortable. But once again, my partner will probably be trying to pass with the knee slice. It's the most common type of pass that people do from this type of guard usually. So I always corral my right knee with my right hand. Um, if I don't, Richie comes for the knee pass and my knee drops to the ground. And I don't have anything to elevate my foot off the ground now. Remember, my goal as I'm trying to spin underneath is knock Richie's balance off to his left foot making his right foot really light. So I always hold this underneath. Now when he goes to drive on top, it actually helps me rotate and elevates his hip off the ground. So now I can sacrifice this. So I'm gonna switch my sleeve to his inside pant leg and I'm gonna tuck my left leg inside so I'm not getting knee barred. So I'm here, nice and tight. And here I am behind. I have both ankles. I have one leg in and one leg out. So it's a really easy transition here to my reverse X guard. As I just throw my leg behind him, get this mock X guard position. If you'll notice, if you do play X guard, my feet are actually reversed from normal X guard, which would be this, mm -hmm. which I could go to, but this position is great for the leg drag. So since I have both ankles here, I'm not letting the thing go. I'm just gonna pull his left foot towards me and knock him backwards, which is very easy to do. Now I'm gonna let go of his right ankle and switch my grip to his hip. I'm going to come up onto my shoulder and onto my head. As long as I hold Richie's foot here, I can't really proceed to smash him, but it's gonna be very hard for him to free this position. Yeah, I'm very attached to him right yeah, now. I can't put my foot on the floor. Yes, remember, remember to, t to keep these as long as you can until you find something uh, better or worth sacrificing these positions for. And I also want to really pinch my elbow and drive Richie's hamstring into the back, or sorry, into my side, into my ribs like this. This is a nice tight leg drag position. So now I let go of the bottom foot and create base with my left hand and foot here. And I'm flaring my foot to the ceiling here. My heel is flared up and I'm pushing into Richie. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. from this position. Okay, and then I can start dropping my foot. My hook is very strong underneath here because I don't want to get foot locked. I don't want him to circle his leg and grab my foot. I'm staying very flared. Yeah, your toes here. are really flexed. I can really feel the blade yeah. of your foot against my shin. 100%, so yeah. my hook is extremely strong and now I'm just gonna start to drive over. And when you're finishing this leg drag, don't finish here, okay? This isn't gonna help you because he's gonna push on my face, and as soon as he gets here, he's almost out already. So I need to think from the beginning that my head is just going to cut across and go right down into the mat and just take away any chance of him creating a frame pushing on my face. Yeah, there's no way. There's nothing for me to go and purchase against. So a couple of details that can really help you elevate this leg, uh, thus giving me uh, the rotation that I want to get underneath Richie uh, and lifting this leg off the ground is I want to be able to expose the bottom of his foot. So if he just stands here right now with his foot on the ground, it's going to be hard for me to, to cup his heel. But if Richie automatically goes into a, a pass like a knee slice look, it exposes the bottom of his foot and this is a really nice handle to have. If I can, I will grab it and just elevate with, with my leg and with this grip. Or as I spin, sometimes I can get it on my bicep and grab the pants here, which is an awesome grip to finish when you come through. So I'll just show it once.
reverse Delaheva to reverse X to leg drag.